like a chorus the world over from marketers we are all singing the same tune and that's we know we need to integrate mobile we know we should integrate mobile and we know we have to integrate mobile but the questions they are plenty it's how where to start and where to from there and that's why I've developed a three-step framework for marketers so you understand how to integrate mobile into your marketing mix we're going to start with number one, and that's optimizing your content for the unique mobile environment and the unique needs of your mobile users. And then moving on to step two, we'll discuss incorporating mobile into existing programs, to already existing programs to increase their ROI. And then number three, the real big ticket, which is to develop mobile strategies around new processes, new practices, new programs. So let's start with step number one, and optimizing web content for unique mobile environments. Now, marketers understand this is very tactical in nature, but it is a must-have. Understand that in as little as one year, maybe as far away as three years, mobile devices, those small smartphones up to the larger tablets, are the number one way your audiences are going to be accessing your web content. In fact, in over half the world, all over in Asia Pacific, they already are using mobile as the first screen internet device. So the first thing to ask yourself is, how do I need to optimize my existing website for the unique mobile environment? I show my own example here of how I've taken my desktop website and I've optimized it uniquely for this environment, still brand consistent, consistency, excuse me, but making sure that the experience, making sure the options, the navs, the technologies are all in line for my mobile users' needs. And don't just think text. Audio and video work beautifully in the mobile environment. In fact, that's why I'm taping this series a la video, because you might just be watching these segments not on a large laptop or desktop computer, but on a small smartphone device. So we need to get across information, or say B2Bs with complex text. Maybe audio and video are your best friends there. So think outside of the box while you're optimizing for inside the small boxes of mobile environments. And of course, you're not just looking at web content and websites, folks. Think for yourself, how many times do you check your email on your smartphone versus on your laptop? Rest assured, it's probably a pretty good amount. And it's hard sometimes, sometimes absolutely illegible, to read email newsletters on smaller smartphone devices. So we have to think globally when we're optimizing for unique mobile environments. What do I mean? I mean optimizing websites. I mean optimizing email newsletters, campaign landing pages, so on and so forth. We have to start thinking mobile first because, again, our audiences are starting to use this as a first screen internet device. And that's going to bring us to step number two. Here I want us to take a step back as marketers and look at all our plans over the calendar or fiscal year and figure out where we can incorporate mobile tools and channels and ideas into already existing programs. This is especially helpful with your bosses because what you're looking to do is to increase already existing ROI and to experiment with mobile tools and ideas across existing programs that have already gotten the green light from executives. You have a full range of tools and channels to go ahead and pull from, and let me give you some examples. Look at what Macy's and look at what uh, Home Depot have done with just a simple QR code that launches to a video that tells me, as a shopper, more about the product or how to better use the product or tips on home living or what the designer was thinking and what, what the uh, inspiration was behind the fall of the spring line. They've turned lifeless objects into very lively experiences. Also, look at as a B2B marketer with trade show collateral instead of a lot of collateral and printed items. Why not make one easy app that's very easy for your audience to navigate around the trade show floor or to subscribe to SMS alerts to know when different speakers are taking the stage or to keep an ongoing uh, mode of communications going with them, with them after the event has transpired and you'll save a lot of trees and a lot of printing expenses in the process. And of course what Victoria's Secret said, it was a real fun ad campaign where their already existing initiative, they had the ad campaign, the ad billboard, 
but we as users could scan the QR codes and we could find more out about the Victoria's Secrets models, about coupons, about offers and incentives. But again, these were existing initiatives where the marketers all incorporated mobile tools and channels to increase the ROI and most importantly, to experiment with mobile. That brings us to step number three and creating and developing entirely new strategies through mobile. Now here we're taking a big step back because we might be creating altogether new marketing strategies or we might be looking to create better processes or even new offerings. So let me give you a few examples. You know, I've said in other segments, it's really easy to bag on the airlines between the long waiting lines and missed flights. But one thing that airlines, and this is across the board, have done beautifully strategically is to integrate mobile into the entire user experience. Whether I'm A, checking a mobile website to go ahead and buy a flight, B, subscribing to a stream of SMS alerts to let me know, is my flight on time or is it going to be delayed? or C, not having to carry a printed boarding pass around. I'm carrying around what I already have, my smartphone, and that's being scanned at the gate. So they are streamlining the process and strategically incorporating mobile to make my experience as an executive or a consumer flyer much better. Now, I love this example from Groupon. I'm sure you guys know of Groupon, where you get group discounts in your email inboxes and whatnot, but they have Groupon now which leverages the here and now for users. So whether I'm in LA, whether I'm in New Orleans, whether I'm in Boston, wherever I am at the time and whatever my need is at the time, through this app, I can scan the area in front of me and location-wise, it'll tell me different coupons for my need. So here and now. Maybe right now I want a hamburger, right? Maybe right now I need a haircut. Maybe right now I need a Manny and Petty. But I can get 10, 15, 20% off of that with that location as well as that need intersecting. That's a very strategic use of mobile. And finally, a great campaign out of, a great initiative, I should say, out of South Korea is with Tesco Home Plus. Tesco Home Plus brought the store to the people versus trying to bring the people to the store. How did they do that? Instead of creating new supermarkets, what they did was they created billboards, virtual billboards of different items that you would grocery shop for anyhow, and users, while waiting during idle time for the subways to come, would scan QR codes, fill up their cart, and by the time they got home, Tesco was home delivering the items right to their apartments and homes. That's strategically using mobile to not change co consumer behavior, but to solve a problem. How to turn idle wait time into productive time and to not have capital expenses building new supermarkets, but leveraging very high traffic areas. Now that's strategic. So with all that said, folks, I hope you'll remember the three-step framework, and I just want to go over it one more time. First, optimize web content across websites, email newsletters, campaign landing pages for the unique mobile environments and the unique needs of your users while in the mobile environment. Number two, look at all your plans and programs. See where you could use a mobile tool, a mobile channel, a mobile initiative to already improve that ROI. And so you can experiment a little bit as well. And number three, the bigger, broader strategy of developing mobile strategies, programs, offerings, and of course, bettering processes. So until next time, I hope you marketers keep getting ideas, gaining inspiration, and going mobile.